your Massachusetts real estate market update for the month of January 2023. So what are we going to chat about? Well, in this video, we're going to go over the Massachusetts real estate market data for what happened in the month of December of 2022 for single family homes, condos, as well as multifamily properties. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent that sold more than a thousand houses. And I am one of the state's top real estate agents. And if you like hearing about the Massachusetts real estate market, it, then be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below. But let's dig into the data and start with the single family market. Now, in the single family market in December of 2022, we saw 3,390 single family homes close for an average sales price of $673,000. Now, this represents a negative 2.1 month over month decrease in the average sales price and a 3.6% year over year increase in the average sales price. We saw the amount of unit sales down by 31.4% year over year. That's the data. Now let's take a look at what all of this means. Now the number of units sold is down and this is to be expected. Take a look at the year over year comparison chart. This gives you really a good feel for the story of 2022. We were running neck to neck with 2021 in June and then that's when the wheels started falling off if you will and this all makes sense and was by design with the increasing interest rates. We're back to quote unquote normal market levels and this is an amazing thing. It's sustainable. Now, when you look at uh, the year-over-year -year comparisons, you can see that the trend continues with now 18 months of year-over-year -year sales unit declines. Guess what? This is going to continue. I think we could see this ultimately until June or July until we ultimately really start to see that trend to change. Why June or July? Because that's when we started to see the breaks hit on the market this year, and that's when it's predicted that interest rates, they're going to start coming down. We might see that market market tick up. Now the interesting part remains that with the huge decreases in the number of homes sold, we're still not seeing a surge of inventory. I know I've said it before, but it's worth repeating. For the market bearers out there, you can't have a huge tumbling of prices if the supply and demand curve isn't changed. Or to say it another way, if the amount of supply doesn't go up by a considerable sum, then you're not going to see price decreases. So how bad was the December from a sales perspective? Well, here's a chart of the December sales activity since 2004. The unit sold puts us in line with the sales volume that we saw in 2012. And for historical reference, what happened in 2012? Well, the average home price in Massachusetts increased by 0.87%. And we sold 42,723 units in 2012. And as of now, the data is pointing to my prediction being correct for what's going to happen in 2023. So let's talk appreciation. Year to date, we've seen an appreciation rate of 8.82% for the state of Massachusetts. In one of my next videos where I do a market recap for all of 2022, we're going to be digging into that number and really exposing it for what it is. We'll take a look at our year-over-year -year price gains for each month of 2022. And you're going to continue to see the trend line decreasing. We had a small increase in the November, but December went back to being, well, more of the same, quite frankly. I think it's important to note that this is not a sign of a market crash, by the way. We just waded through a pretty tough fall market, and the average sales price was still up by 1.62%. In my opinion, however, this market is more fragile than that data would even have us believe. So what do I mean by fragile? Well, this market, it could break either way. We're walking a very fine line of balance right now. If interest rates go down considerably and very quickly, you're going to see a rush of buyer demand. The market balance breaks and we're back into that crazy and awful, quite frankly, 2022 time. If the economy falters or the Fed needs to continue to pound that interest rate drum, then the market could just as easily break the other way, where you have people needing to sell and inventory increases by a lot. Or a scenario, which we've discussed, where distressed properties flood the market because it's a very bad economy. Like I said, the market is fragile, in my opinion. Everyone is talking about how sales are down, but they're always missing the other side of the story. Hey, look, this is Economics 101. You can't just talk about the demand side of the curve and not address the supply side of that curve. So let's do that. Take a look at the inventory levels for December in the last 12 years. Yes. We are up compared to the last two years, but look at those 2012, 2013, 2014 inventory levels. We have a quarter of the amount of inventory on the market today than we did back then, and that's with the same amount of sales that we had back then. So onto the condo market. But first, if you're liking what you're hearing about the Massachusetts real estate market, then please consider subscribing. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate you hitting that like button as it makes a huge difference to the YouTube gods. 
In the condo market for the month of December of 2022, we saw 1,670 condos close for an average sales price of $487,000. Now, this represents a negative 4.4% month-over-month decrease in the average sales price and a negative 2% year-over-year average sales price decrease. We saw the amount of unit sales down by 35.6% year-over-year. Now, that's the data. Let's take a look at what this all means. Just like the single-family market, the condo was going neck-to-neck -neck in 2022 with the sales activity of 2021, then June came around. Again, we expected sales to decline. We're comparing this year to 2021, which was pretty much one of the best years real estate has ever seen. And right now we're in the midst of historic interest rate increases. So a slowdown was inevitable. Now the condo market remains our softest market. Like I said in November, what worries me is the sales activity continues to show no rebound. We have now seen 13 months of year-over-year -year unit sales decreases in a row. Just like in the single-family market, this will continue until at least June or July of next year when we get into sales levels that are more normal for comparison purposes. So let's take a look at the average sales price for the Massachusetts condo market. And get used to this graph. This is what I believe 2023 will look like for both the single-family as well as condo market. The year-over-year -year average sales price will just continue to play a little hopscotch month after after month. And then there's the year over year data. Now this graph clearly illustrates that the average sales price was going down in the last half of the year. And we have now recorded two year over year pricing declines in the last four months. Then there are the inventory levels for the condo market. And as of the end of December, we had 1,668 condos on the market. Now that inventory number is still very low compared to past years. Compare our inventory levels to 2012, and we're currently 58% below those levels. Now, inventory, it's still tight in the condo market, even with the decrease in sales. So on the multifamily market. Now, the multifamily market in December of 2022, we saw 491 multifamily properties close for an average sales price of $681,000. This represents a negative 0.85% month over month decrease in the average sales price. And we actually saw a decrease uh, in the average sales price year over year as well. Now, the amount of unit sales was down by 43.9%. And until this month, the multifamily market has been a rock and been a very strong from a pricing standpoint. Point. And I mentioned some headwinds in last month's month end market update. Could these be it? And as a recap, the headwinds were rental rate growth slowing and some markets, markets even seeing rental rates declines. This while interest rates and the cost of ownership continues to increase. Now looking at the year over year unit comparison, sales have been off since June. And with each passing month, they've continued to get worse and worse. And with this month resembling, well, quite frankly, a bloodbath from a sales perspective, the average sales price reflects that narrative as well. Since April, price gains in the multifamily market have been relatively steady. Now inventory levels for multifamily properties continue to drop, and this is to be expected as a seasonal trend, but the multifamily market isn't as affected by seasonal trends as others. It doesn't matter the time of year, because when an investor sees a good opportunity and they've got the means to buy that opportunity, then they're going to do it. There's much less emotion involved in buying an investment property. It's all about the numbers. So what do the December inventory levels look like compared to last year's? Well, thought you'd never ask, and here you go. Our inventory levels are 59% below today than they were in the levels of December of 2012. Inventory is still strained in the multifamily market as well. Now, want to talk about your own personal real estate needs? My information, it's in the description below. I always love talking about real estate. Whether you're looking to buy a house in the next 9 or 90 days, then I would love to chat with you and find out more about your real estate goals. Questions or comments about any of this market data, then make sure you drop me a line in the comments section below. You take the time to watch the video, so I'm always going to take the time to answer. Now, an informed person, they're a powerful person, so until next time.